Yes, myself Sinha Chauhan. Welcome to Easy Medicam. Today's part of the video will be covering about the next section of the human anatomy, which is the respiratory system. So we are starting with the respiratory system. The first part of the respiratory system we are starting with the human larynx. The human larynx is nothing but it is commonly called the voice box. We already know that in the uh, that the larynx, the another name of the larynx is the voice box. So the voice box is nothing but it is a larynx and is an organ in the top of the neck of the tetrapods involved in the breathing producing the sounds and protecting the trachea against the food aspiration the human larynx houses the vocal folds and manipulating pitch it manipulates the volume which is essential for the phonation or which is essential for the voice production the phonation is nothing but it, it is the voice production the larynx is situated just below where the trachea and the tract of the pharynx splits into trachea and the esophagus. In the human adults, the larynx is a fold in the anterior neck at the level of cervical level number 3 at the end up to the cervical number, number 7 vertebra. So we have to remember that in the human adult, the larynx is found at the level of C3 up to C7. And the larynx is consist of the laryngeal skeletal consist of the three cut six cartilage. So uh, in the whole we are having six types of cartilage which will form the larynx. Out of six, three are the single and three are the paired. Three cartilages are the paired and three one are the single. The three single one are the epiglottis. It is a thyroid and the cricoid cartilages. The three paired cartilages are the arytenoid cartilage corniculate cartilage and the cuneiform cartilage so the laryngeal or uh, the larynx or the voice box is formed by the six types of cartilage out of six cartilage three are unpaired cartilage and three are paired cartilage the three single cartilage or unpaired cartilage are the epiglottis thyroid and cricoid whereas the three paired cartilage are the arytenoids corniculate and the cuneiform the hyoid bone is the bone and is not a part of the larynx it is a misnomer or the someone knows that the hyoid bone is in the larynx but it is not a part of the larynx though the larynx is suspended from the hyoid bone so we had to remember that the hyoid bone is not a part of the larynx it is a misnomer that it is a part of the larynx it is just not a part of the larynx so Uh, we are having six types of cartilage in the larynx out of which the three are unpaired and three are paired we already know this the three unpaired cartilages are the thyroid cartilage epiglottis and the cricoid cartilage so, so the thyroid cartilage this forms the adam apple it is usually a large in male and then in female it is the anterior projection of the thyroid cartilage at the uh, in the neck which is called the adam apple the adam apple is more prominent seen in male than in female the thyrohyoid membrane so there is a membrane which is a thyrohyoid membrane the name itself suggests that it is between the thyroid cartilage and up to the level of hyoid so it is called the thyrohyoid membrane and is a ligament associated with the thyroid cartilage that connects the thyroid cartilage with the hyoid bone. So the thyrohyoid membrane is a ligament which connects the thyroid cartilage of the larynx to the hyoid bone. The next type of the unpaired cartilage is the epiglottis. This is a large spoon shaped piece of elastic cartilage. So this is uh, the epiglottis is the elastic cartilage. We have to remember that it is the only cartilage which is made up of the elastic cartilage epiglottis during the swallowing the pharynx and the larynx rises so the epiglottis when we are swallowing the food so uh, the trachea the the food will not goes into the trachea though so the epiglottis closes and the food will enter the esophagus so the epiglottis is a cartilage which will prevent the entry of the food into the trachea and it's direct it will direct the food towards the esophagus isn't it so during swallowing the pharynx and the larynx both will rise. 
the third type of the cartilage is the cricoid cartilage it is nothing but it is it is present beneath the thyroid cartilage and it is usually a ring shaped cartilage the ring shaped cartilage is the cricoid cartilage and it is made up of the hyaline cartilage that forms the inferior wall of the larynx it will form the inferior wall of the larynx and the median cricothyroid ligament so it is the cricothyroid ligament which is the the name itself suggests that it it will connect the crico cricoid cartilage and the thyroid so it is a ligament which will correct connect the cricoid cartilage to the thyroid cartilage of the larynx and connects the these two cartilages isn't it so this is the cricothyroid ligament so these are three unpaired cartilage which are the thyroid cartilage epiglottis and the cricoid cartilage we are also having the paired cartilage which are three in number which are the arytenoid cartilage cornicolate cartilage and the cuneiform cartilage so these are the paired cartilage we are having two in number the arytenoid cartilage the arytenoid cartilage are the most important because they influence the position and tension of the vocal fold so this is the cartilage which will produce or which will help in the phonation isn't it the arytenoid cartilage the next type of the paired cartilage is a cornicolate cartilage it is usually horn shaped piece of the elastic cartilage located at the apex of each arytenoid cartilage so it is present at the apex of arytenoid cartilage the next type of cartilage is the cuneiform cartilage it is usually a club shaped piece of elastic cartilage located anterior to the cornicolate cartilage so these are the cartilage which will houses the larynx and which will produce the larynx or which will help to make the larynx so these are 6 in number out of 6 3 are unpaired and 3 are paired cartilage okay uh, we uh, we already know in this section of the video that the larynx is present at the level of cervical number 3 and up to the cer cervical number 7 usually in the newborn infants the larynx is initially at the level of cervical number 2 up to cervical number 3 vertebra and is further forward and higher related to its position in the adult body the larynx descends as the child's growth okay so we have to remember that the in the newborn the larynx is present at the level of cervical number 2 up to cervical number 3 but in the adult human it is present at the level of cervical number 7 3 up to cervical number 7 so what does it implies this implies that in the newborns in the newborns the larynx descends as the child grow okay so if these are the diagrams or the rough diagram uh, of the cartilages which will form the larynx this is the epiglottis this is the thyroid cartilage this is the arytenoid cartilage okay this this cartilage is present at the apex of the cricoid cartilage these are the cornicolate cartilage and these are the cuneiform cartilage and this is the cricoid cartilage which is ring in shaped okay so this is all about the larynx which we will continue about the larynx or the nerves innervation of the larynx the muscle associated with the larynx in the next section of the video so please guys do like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more notification and please guys do comments also thank you please like share and subscribe easy medicam and press bell icon for more notification